Hey guys and gals, it's me, K-Wife, and I'm back with another episode of Monster Hunter Stories for the 3DS. And I hope you guys are all having a really nice day today. We just got back from defeating um, this blighted, uh, like, dragon and another crazy monsty, and now we are here in the, um, I believe it's the guild hall or something like that. And these people really want to talk to us, so let's see what's going on. So here's Muffy. We have a problem! A problem named the Crimson Fiend! It's a red kazoo p prowling around Dorge! The guild has classified it as a threat! I'm so sorry to ask, but I'd be really grateful for any help you could give us! Okay, so we have to slay a Crimson Fiend? That's fine. Oh, I cannot do it yet. Yeah, so I actually have to get rid of some of these quests. Well, we'll talk to this guy. What ho! Have you come across any bottle cups in your travels? They may not look like anything special, in fact. Most people may call them trash. Not so, not so. There is much more to them than meets the eye, what ho! And I forgot to do this. Alright, there we go. They hold so many mysteries. Where are they from? When were they made? You needn't go out of your way, but to let me know if you find any. Alright, so it's not letting me accept that quest. <laughs> Alright, so I am actually going to have to go and turn in some of my quests. Um, I believe I have some quests to turn in, so we're going to see what happens. We have been fighting some monsties that out there in the field for a little bit. So I'm going to see if any of the quests... I kind of accepted all the quests that I could find in the quest board, so... Judging from my series, that might not be the best idea. Yeah. I want to become a monster professor when I grow up, so I study every day. My favorite monster at the moment is the Ludra. They move so smoothly, but my mom will get mad if I go out to look at them. Can you go instead? Um, yeah, I have to... Okay... So, I uh, apparently can't accept any quests, so let's see if we can turn in any of these. Now, some of the quests... okay. Let's go to the quest board, and then we also talk to the smithy to look at quests. Okay, so we have this. Slay five Alteros, so turn in. Alright, good. And this one. Okay, awesome. Whoa, looks like. Okay. Oh my gosh, so many notifications. This is crazy. Gendrome sword target. Okay, so now last time I was uh, kind of wandering around and um, I did talk to the um, the when I upgraded my armor I just accepted a couple quests from the uh, smith guy and um, so we're going to see if we have any quests to turn in for him and then we're going to go back to the guild and hopefully accept those. I'm not going to accept any more quests right now because Apparently I accepted too many. You know what? I'm just going to see if there are any DLC quests that I've done. Okay. I don't see any. Oh, this one I can turn in. Okay, so it's a Slay a Link Gombi. Awesome! Alright, so those are my DLC. And let's go talk to the smithy. Oh my gosh. This is a pig holding an umbrella. That's pretty crazy. Alright, Smithy, do we have any quests? Step right up and take a look at what I've got. So, forge quests. Alright, so we have a Xamtrios weapon set. Deliver Xamtrios materials. Alright, so we got one of those. Alright, so I have to also pay him... 
Oh, this is if I'm going to... Okay. You know what? I'm gonna see what... Okay. Alright, I think I basically accepted too many of his forge quests. Alright, I'm gonna see what this guy needs, because he was gonna pay me money. There was a guy over here that was gonna pay me money to a forge quest. Alright. I want a meaty smash. Alright, so let's see if we can find... That guy, um, probably has one of his quests is a meaty smash. Let's see if we can find that one. Then at least we'll get paid, because these other ones will just have the weapons. You, step right up and take a look at what I've got. So, forge quests. Alright, so it's not really letting me... Alright, so... Oh my gosh. These are... I, I went to way... I accepted way too many of these quests. Okay. Well, let's see what we can actually use. Alright, so this is a Nursilla. Um, Alright. I'm gonna actually try a Nursilla sword. Alright, let's try that. And we will pay them $3,000. Whoa, okay. And we forged a sword. You're still a great sword. Alright. Alright, so we're not going to accept any more quests unless we actually want to do that. Um, so let's actually see what... Well, we're right now our jaw blade has an attack of... Um, it doesn't really say what our attack is. I'm just gonna okay. Actually gonna see what our attack is compared to. So um So our weapons are here and Okay, so I have a new this is attack 31 and that's attack 41. Alright, so I bought the job link that still has a bigger attack. But this does look really cool and um I don't know. <laughs> it also has 10% bonus sleep. Not sure what that is. So, um, yeah, um, we could definitely upgrade it and see. But I don't think we have enough money to upgrade it. <clears throat> so, Luke is correct. We can actually, um,. And we can actually upgrade materials. And as long as you don't actually upgrade it oh, all the way, I can upgrade it almost all the way. I don't have to pay the 2600 yet. Um, and I, but it's still not upgraded yet. But, um, oops. So, but once I get the money, then I can upgrade it all the way. Alright, so it's, yeah, so it's not upgraded yet to the next level, but um, we put some materials into it, and when we get 2600, we can definitely upgrade it. Getting your hands on new materials will unlock a new forge quest sometimes. If you beat a new kind of monster, drop by and see what's an offer. Okay then, so, yeah, I'm gonna go back to the guild, and, um, oh no, poor little guy fell down. So we're gonna go all the way back to the guild and maybe accept their quests. Oh man, this is tedious. Okay, oh, and, oh, I was gonna say I could bre break out my new sword, but I'm kind of in town right now, so I don't know if that would be appropriate. Wielding a sword in the middle of town. Uh, oh, 
Oh, that's the other way out. I didn't realize that. I was looking for the guild thing. Oh. Right, where is Gildegarin then? I mean, where is the, um... Alright, so I want... That's not where I wanted to go at all. What I'm looking for is that one guy uh, that's kind of just sitting there. That's not it. That's not it. Oh my gosh. I cannot find where I was coming from. No. Alright, so that should be obvious. You can see trees out there. I do not know why I went down that direction. And... talk to this guy. You're really something to be able to complete a quest from the captain. A lot of hunters has been dispatched to the Osum recently. Supposedly they're all elite fighters. Will they really be able to help though? Um, let's hope they can help. Okay, is this the way? Oh my gosh. Alright, there's a little boy. Okay, I guess I'll accept that quest. And I'm kind of shaky on that because I might not be able to accept the King's Quest now. King's Quest, like King's Quest 5. Oh my goodness, that's such an old game. Alright, so let's see if we can. I'm gonna talk to the. not the King. The guild master. He seems like a king because he has a giant throne. Okay. What ho! Have you come across any bottle caps in your travels? They may not look like anything special. In fact, most people may call them trash. Not so, not so. There is much more to them than meets the eye, what ho. They hold so many mysteries. Where are they from? When were they made? You needn't go out of your way, but to let me know if you find any. Alright, accepting quest. Alright, I'll even offer you a reward. See if you can find me three to begin with. Alright, so let's talk to these girls and see what's going on. Hi. <laughs> There's a pink radiant called the Poison Bloom on the perennial path. Everyone's remaining in their homes in case it decides to attack the city. Travelers and merchants are finding it hard to pass through, too. Can you help? Um, yes. Okay, let's see how many of these quests I can accept. Thank you so much! I'll reward you with my favorite weapon! It's pink! Just like the Raytheon! Hee 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 hee! Okay. Oh, I'm so hungry! Oh, hi! I'm glad to see you! You think you could catch me some shark tuna? You know, for research? I'm totally not just asking you to get me lunch. No way. I'd never do that. Yeah, right. You're asking me to get you lunch. Okay, hopefully I will be able to accept these quests. It's got the recipes for antidote, anti-para potion, and zest pill in it. Right, and hopefully I can accept hers. Well, we have a problem. A problem named the Crimson Fiend. It's a red kezu pr prowling around Dar Darge. The guild has classified it as a threat. Sorry to ask. I'd really be grateful for any help you could give us. Alright, hopefully I can ex- Ah, you cannot not accept any more quests. No! Okay, so I have to come back here and accept them later. But at least we got two. Right, I can walk all slow. And important. All right. Who am I kidding? Well, I guess there's nothing to do but get out in the field and actually uh, just start uh, doing the quests, fulfilling people's quests. So apparently, um, I would not suggest doing what I did, which was to just start accepting all the Smithy's quests. Only accept quests that you actually want to do because every quest of the smithy in this thing costs like three thousand dollars because you have to actually forge weapons and you don't necessarily want to um make every weapon so it's kind of just 
Yeah, it's kind of just filling up your quest thing for no reason. Well, I guess I will try going out this way. Hi. So you're the one who put a stop to all the weirdness out on the plains. Well, I wanted to thank you. You're welcome here in Gildekarin. If you want to talk to Tres, if you want to go to the Tressa Desert, take the road out of town by Roberta's place. Okay. Oh, so each place, each road out of here goes to a different place. Welcome to Gar Gildegarin, city of hunters. Oh, it's you. Well, uh, welcome back. People are starting to loosen up around you now. Most of them trust you, I think. You've earned that trust, and all your work is starting to pay off. Okay, thank you so much. I really like the cherry and blossoms out here. It's so pretty. After I came through the snow and I saw the cherry blossoms, I thought, wow, this is amazing. So, yeah, this is such a nice view here. Oh my goodness. So let's actually um, switch my weapon to the this one that I actually made, and it's really cool looking. All right, so now my weapon looks way cooler, even though the other one is kind of more. Um, I don't know, I guess it's stronger, but I really like this one. It's really cool. And I guess we can just uh, go in here and see what's going on in this monster den. Oh wow, this is such a cool looking monster den. It's like a jungle in here. Oh my gosh, it feels like a jungle where um, Luke and I are because our heat for some reason, it's so hot where we are even though it's the winter and we don't even have the heat really on very much at all. It's like like the heater isn't really even on because we have the heat below like 65 or something. The heat isn't even, we don't even hear the heat on at all and it's just like, it's like it's like 71 degrees in our house for some reason, and I have no idea why. I spy with my cat's eye something beginning with them, Neil. Stay on your paws. Oh my gosh, we got attacked by it. Um, after all, is it? Oh, I forgot. Oops. I skipped the cutscene. No, Luke hates when I do that. Alright. After all. Hopefully this will be an easy fight. Up to not defeated, possum. Whoa, you are getting really strong there, Tim. Nice job, nice one, buddy. Great, right, I did not gain very much experience, but oh well. Okay, and we're back. Guess I collect a few of these things. So, all right, yeah, I think we got something possum. So yeah, Luke will be really happy to know you can actually forge um, weapons in this game once you get to like the third world. Give it here. Get a whiff of this one. It's smelly for sure. It's also quite light. Um. Yeah, I can try it. I'll just go with this one. I can always come back and try another one. It was look so funny carrying this egg. Yeah, this this sword looks so cool. You ready to make like a tree and leave? Woohoo! We did it! Alright, all right, guys and gals, I think that does it for today's episode. We're going to try going on that adventure later on. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Monster Hunter Stories for the 3DS. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. And Navaru and uh, Tim and Yumi chan are going to take, maybe they're going to take like five minutes or take a little nap. And then they're going to go adventuring a little bit and uh, frolicking around in these uh, trees. So have a great day, everyone. And thank you guys so much for watching. And until we meet again, God bless and happy gaming. See ya!